So the last time we saw a picture that looked like this, uh, Elon was uh, tweeting this out. Uh, it was a trash can and everything else was like useless. Uh, this has everything else but the trash can. So what we're looking at is the Las Vegas loop for those of us on audio. And uh, so Elon says it's coming soon and people ask him stuff. And so Viv is asking him, what about the 12 seat version? And Musk is like, oh, people need to be seated. So we're not going to do that. And so then uh, Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut, he's pushing it a little further. He's like, all right, so what about the high capacity vehicles? And Musk says, that's not necessary. Individualized mass transit is the future. And uh, oh, really? that's what he says. <laughs> and so then I go over to the Boring Company mm-hmm. website and you've got some mock-ups of how this could work. Because uh, in the picture that Musk shared, there's no way that they're going to get their capacity. <laughs> but if this is your waiting area, you can certainly do it. Uh, and then he had another... Have you ever uh, been to Las Vegas, oh Casey? Oh, God. And then he's got another uh, idea here, more Disney-style, where the car will kind of pull off and wait for you. Oh, it's open and air. How nice. It'll only be like 170 open, degrees exactly. down there. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you want open air in, in Vegas. Okay. But if they could do something similar to the other pictures, but kind of keep you in the air conditioning... I think they're onto something. I, 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 I poo-pooed it at first, but then I sat there and, and, and thought on a little bit about what Musk was saying about the, uh, about the individualized transportation. And if, they, if the cars are much better at merging at high speed than we humans are, and the waiting area and the loading area are separate and large enough, then this could work. Mm-hmm. Although yeah. it still would have been cool to see the minibuses, but, but if if they're frequent enough, as we were saying with the, uh, with the other uh, bus article, then it could work out. Uh, the I difference here, though, is everybody's going to the same place, whereas on a regular tunnel system, everybody's going someplace different. So uh, with this tied in with me, I was thinking that with the Model 3, you can't buy out your lease at the end of the term. So I'm thinking that either oh, great. Boring is going to be the... Uh, the the recipient of this or Tesla is going to uh, service in the boring tunnels with their full self-driving. And so then this would also meet his requirements for the full self-driving by the end of the year. Although it's in a closed environment. What does everybody else think about this? I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Well, it's e- easier to do self-driving <laughs> in a closed environment off public streets. That's for sure. Yeah, that is for sure. <laughs> they can make sure all the uh, lanes are properly painted. The one thing I really like about this is if you go down there and there's eight or ten cars, uh, you you and your group pile into one and then buckle up and hit go, and it, it leaves when you're ready. Like we were just talking about public transportation, how if the schedule doesn't work for you, it's a real problem. Well, here this is going to work out just when you need a car you get in it you hit the go button it drives through the tunnel and you get to the other side you didn't have to wait for a train at a certain time i mean there might be a queue of people you have to go through but if assuming that there's no line of people yeah, waiting, if you just there's go down like and a go. SEMA or something on it'll be a hell of a queue up the escalator <laughs> <laughs> but this thing this thing even in the renders it it just it has 10 times the footprint of a subway at one tenth the capacity I mean, where is the, what the hell, the, that's just stupid. But think about a subway uh, in between the rush hours. You might no. get like a handful no. of people. What? No. Not, 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 not a New York subway, but a regular, everybody else's metro. Uh, in between the rush hours, they do have less ridership. Okay. Can I, I so get, get, get your cocktails ready. We have fewer routes. Get, get your cocktails ready. Cover. It can have unlimited uh, routes. <laughs> How many people on this panel have been to a convention in Vegas? I've been to one in Vegas. I've been to some. Okay. I've been to Vegas and I've been to conventions. And, and waiting an hour and a half for the freaking <laughs> shuttle back to the hotel. Right, right. I mean, you have to understand, we're talking about this specific device is supposed to serve people in the tens of thousands. Okay. And many times, well over 100,000. Now, whether that business is ever going to come back to Las Vegas or not, this may be the right solution for where America is going because <laughs> there could be a dozen people using that thing a day. But what I'm saying is I have seen dozens of 60 person coaches lined up outside of the CES main hall. One of several embarkation points. This is, this is fucking ridiculous. 
It is so far off, even close to being right. But if you have one car leaving every uh, five seconds versus one big uh, set of... Five seconds? How many cars do you have? How long does it take people to get into a car? car. But they're not getting in the car online like they do with a train. They're getting in the car elsewhere, and then that car waits its turn in line and then shoots off. I mean, right. zero to sixty in the slowest Model Three is six seconds. Sorry, I'm, less than six seconds. I, I'm sorry. my opinion, and I'll shut up. This is oh, a good. this is a pathetic stock pump, and it's sad. It's a sad oh. thing. But hey, you know what? It's fun to see Vegas, the house, finally lose fifty-two million dollars <laughs> flush. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and and like like you guys, when I first looked at it, I was like, well, because the train holds a lot more people, but. It does, you know, you got to wait for it to fill up and it goes every five, 10, 15 minutes, right? Whereas if these things are done correctly and you load outside of the travel area, then you've always got a full car going somewhere. Exactly. And uh, I don't have to wait for other people to get on the train before it leaves. You can have simultaneous loading into multiple vehicles. They, they leave when that one's ready and not waiting for other ones. Uh, I, I want to give it a chance. I can't wait to see it. It'll be cool. Yeah, um, and if they fail, I guess to check it out. Yeah, and if they fail, they can always fill it with a with a with a multi-person vehicle, the Disney tram. Uh, they and fail. Then the, they this, can always fill it with concrete. That would be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a waste. But um, like you won't have to worry about the you don't have to worry about the subway flasher. Uh, you know, somebody with limited mobility is no longer slowing down the loading and unloading of the process, and they get through just as fast as everybody else as well. But the flasher on the subway is half the fun. <laughs> sure. Explain that to the children. Okay. I'm just going to say that this looks incredibly untenable as public transportation option. And I, Lord, you know, it's like look, Elon I love faith too, but uh, this is too much faith in, in, in what it could be. I don't but like, like Paul to, said, we don't need the drivers now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, but you know, uh, on the one, you guys are like too busy trying to get rid of the human element in this. And I think that the frank truth is we're probably going to still need drivers. But what we do need is safe transportation that handles a lot more people than a bunch of modular cars. Because basically, this looks like the loading and offloading area of the airport where I'm waiting for an Uber. And I can tell you, that's not an efficient solution. It's, an, it's a solution that works well for people who need to get to a plane or get someplace and don't need public transportation. But if you're talking a public transportation solution, this is, all of it is 100% ain't it done by somebody who literally has no fucking clue what the hell public transportation is and has never been on a bus near a bus, might have seen a bus in a picture book when they were very young, or could still be needing to have a bus defined for them by an actual physical model. This is not going to work. And like I said, I appreciate your faith. I'm not going to join it. That's, that's all I'm going to say. One thing I'll add is that uh, the Las Vegas Convention Center had numbers of people that they m- needed to move every minute, and it was part of the contract. Yeah. So, so if that is the case, both parties signed, both parties agreed to the numbers, then this system had better do it based on the contract. And on, mm-hmm. if it does do it according to the contract, then everyone's going to be fine with it. Uh, mm-hmm. If it doesn't, then there's going to be hell to pay on on uh, on the Tesla side or the the boring company side. But uh, I'm willing to give it the chance to see if it does move the required amount of people based on the contract or not. And, and so what happens when one of these cars gets a flat tire in the tunnel? Tow truck. The next one just pushes it. Tow truck. <laughs> Have you seen the size of the tunnel? Right. <laughs> in, in the so same, that's what you will be doing that, as a passenger. <laughs> right, right. In, in the same way that when I was a kid, we had a dog, and every once in a while he would help push the other dogs home. Yes, that's exactly. But, but here's the here's the here's the beauty of this. It's like normally when your train goes down, you've lost the whole circuit. So if you get a car with a flat tire, you've got one more tunnel. So you can lose up to one more car before train, you. Trains have steel wheels. They don't go. Flat. They have steel wheels, but they break down. Wait, so and, are you saying both tunnels are moving in the same direction? Not in a, in a circuit, a loop. Okay, but in if, a circle. if you've got the other tunnel, 
and you said <laughs> one of them one of them is blocked by a car with a you just use the other tunnel but the cars are coming in the other direction that doesn't sound but safe they, to me. they're under computer control they can switch like you do in a one-way road they just switch it would definitely add backlog for sure yeah but but now you're not at zero percent but like mark said they 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 do have experience meeting contracts like I mean, yeah, they, yeah. they, they, These they work are the with SpaceX. same people that signed the uh, Faraday Future contract, by the way. I'm not talking about Vegas. I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking Tesla. about Nevada. Okay, okay, but 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 Elon Musk and 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 the people around him are familiar with making contracts because to win and wow. service a government contract, you you got to be on, on it. Otherwise, you're going to lose massively, if not right up front in, in money. You, this is like repeat business the Oxford dictionary illustration of when the only tool you have is a hammer. Okay. I also don't think it's going to look like the picture. They're, That's too clean. The only vehicle you have are model threes, <laughs> <laughs> but you're getting model threes for free when all these people come off lease for free for Tesla. Sure. They're free. For free. Because the customers already leased it. No, no, the, the customer didn't pay the full amount for the car. Thank you. It. Okay, fair so enough. So guess what? The residual is still, is still owed. So now the boring company owes Tesla the rest of the value. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. So I mean, we, we have done this show for 10 years because we believe in progress. We believe in improving mass transportation. But we, as it says in our mission statement on our website, on our YouTube channel, we, we call bullshit when we smell bullshit. We've called out Fisker. We've called out Faraday. We've called out others. And for all those people, wait, what was that, Paul? Hydrogen. Who did I miss? Hydrogen. And hydrogen. So all those people writing comments right now saying, you all hate progress? No. It's not that we hate progress. It's that we don't see, all but two of us don't see the feasibility behind this approach. I, I think it was well, like, like I said, 20 one, years one. ago, the Simpsons had a monorail episode. That they did. See that they episode? did. And it was in Vegas, yes. too. No, it was in no, Springfield. No, it wasn't. It was, it was in Springfield. Springfield. Okay. It was in Springfield, okay. yeah. But, but it here's the thing. Miserably. Well, because Homer was the driver. But, you know, I mean, that was <laughs> one, of the, one of the reasons. Here's the thing. I see that it's different. And I, and I, I recognize that there's plenty of opportunity for it to fail. But on stepping back and, and thinking how about it from ground zero, <laughs> on thinking about it from ground zero, I also see how it could succeed and be better than uh, some of the other solutions that were offered. I mean, only time will tell, but... I'm excited at, I, I, at the prospect I, I of them think, either working or failing. Small, autom as Russell said, frequency is important with transit. Small automated trains um, will work. Uh, in so Vancouver, BC, the, the, the uh, subway or SkyTrain system, they call it, has been driverless since the 1980s. And at rush hour, the trains come every 90 seconds. So, you, so mm -hmm. if you miss a big deal, there's another one like a minute and a half later. And they're small That's trains, good. and they don't have driver costs. They can throw 100 trains on the system if they need them, and it works. And that's what you need is some kind of rail-based frequency. So this sounds like, except for the rails. So, uh, uh, and for the flat tire situation, they do all have TPMS, and, so and they should many, know. And how many that people does a low. Model 3 seat? A Model 3 seats five, but a Model X seats seven. Okay, and a Model Paul, y. how many sit in the, in the shuttle? The small one. Oh, in, in a transit vehicle? So yeah. The 90-second one. 150 every 90 seconds? It's not yeah. bad. Okay. Hasn't anybody ever seen the, the little rail, the mini rail? I, I did the one in airport? Orlando from the airport. Yeah, that yeah. was fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but the solution to this was obvious. And but the cool thing is this, this has existed the cool thing is that still works. Decades. At least they'll have a tunnel that they can put rail exactly. in the vehicle so, and if yeah. it fails. Yeah, if they fail, they just get Baumgart to make a, a tired version of one of those and... You're good to go instead of tracks. <laughs> you could have just put We're a slide already walk coming in. up with contingency plans. Maybe we could. We should. Maybe they should have started with that then. <laughs> I, I but they did, and they, they did, and then they, they canceled it. it. Remember, it, they, it, they had the, 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 the glass box. I can't believe the convention, the convention center <laughs> signed a contract with numbers in it that they didn't want to have. Yeah. yeah, I just can't believe that. I and I certainly believe that Tesla is going to try their damnedest to come up with the numbers that uh, they've signed the contract for, because otherwise they're going to have to pay out. So yeah. let's let's see if it matches. Let's see if the contract actually gets fulfilled. 
It'll be fun yeah, to watch. But, but you know, yeah. it, was, it was a good idea on paper, but then, you know, it's kind of like the, uh, remember Elon's big battery swap station, how you'll just drive up and the Tesla battery will come out in five minutes and they'll put in a new battery and well, that which, like. But you, that. you would also you'd also <laughs> have to admit, Paul, that that Tesla innovates. So they'll get yeah. in the middle of something. If something's not working, they will pivot and make right, it work. Right. But but they they said the battery swap was the future, and then they said, eh, no, doesn't really work. That's because they tried or, or battery swap yeah. did exactly what it needed to, do, which was continued to allow Tesla to qualify for the fast fueling rate that Car put in that arbitrarily stupid rule that cut. BEVs out and and favored hydrogen vehicles because it was that's based another, on refueling time and that's another possibility met that requirement. Yeah, yeah, that's true. As soon as that program went away, they closed the station. So that that's a possibility. <laughs> so what's wrong with trying something new? I mean, if we just do things yeah. the way that we've always done, then we're going to get the same results. Here they're trying yeah, is, something I mean, new. Yes, and as long as it's private money, not taxpayer Which money. Is. Yeah, and uh, but you know, I'll believe it when I see it.